Good morning guys, welcome back to Chips Green World and in today's vlog we're going to be potting up the two tall white pots in the courtyard. We're going to be transforming this box to match this box as best we can and then we'll be raking off its root ball, refreshing the compost in the pots and planting. So with that said, let's start this week's vlog. Hi and welcome back to Chips Green World. I'm Chip the courtyard, that's good, the flower, that's gypsy boy, the work, the jobs, join us on our adventures, let's get to work. Right, so today's vlog we're in the potting shed, doing a bit of topiary. First step, get the two boxes onto the potting shed table, side by side so we can see the best way forward. The box we're matching it up to does need a trim so we're going to have to take that into consideration as well as the age and the fact that one box has a single stem and the other has multiple stems so there's no way we're going to get these to match exactly but we'll do the best we can. Right so I'm going to take this out of the pot because the pot's getting in the way of me seeing the stem and actually what needs to be done to it so out it comes and I'll just tell you a little bit about this box. This box was in a pot in the garden of a house I bought 15 years ago and it was virtually dead in the pot. I repotted it and I've been looking after it ever since, trimming it every year but not in any particular shape as I've always had plans to turn this box into a bonsai. But as yet, I've not got round to it, so today is the day. So let me tell you a bit about what I'm doing. The table is slanted, drops about two to three inches at one end so I've propped it up with a piece of wood and now I can get the height. So let's go. Right now we've got that at the right height and it's flat we can take the other box away and start shaping. We're just going to give it a light trim just to give the top a bit of shape and then we'll start trimming and stripping the branches from the bottom upwards. And by giving it a light trim we're encouraging it to thicken up. Right so let's do this. Right, I think we're done. 
and it looks absolutely beautiful. I couldn't be more pleased. Let's move it to the side while we have a quick clean up. And if you want to see a more in-depth vlog on the process that we've done today, check out vlog 21, Boxes Rescue, Repot and Reshape. Right, now onto the root ball. And we're gonna take this down to about half the size. Stimulating the roots and allowing us to add twice as much compost when we come to plant it up. And don't be shy at this point, this will do it the world of good. And if you can imagine, this compost has got no goodness in it whatsoever at this point. Right, now on to preparing the pots. We're going to take this ivy out and the two main ivies I'm going to pot up because they'll come in handy for underplanting down in the courtyard. Because this variegated light ivy really does lighten up the space on an evening. So it will come in handy and nothing goes to waste in Chip's Green World. Right, that's them out. I'll sit them in the bucket of water and we'll pot them up later. So now to freshen up the pots. I'm taking around about a foot of compost out, putting it into a bucket. Then I'm adding four scoops of slow release pellets. This will give an instant boost and feed for up to six months. Also adding four handfuls of chicken manure pellets and one handful of bone meal to stimulate healthy roots. Mix it all in well and we're ready to pot up. Right, the last stage and a very important stage because we've got to get this as level as possible. And I can't stand back and have a look at it at this stage, it'll just flop over. So, a tip, half fill it up, stand back, get it level, then finish topping up with the rest of the compost. And for anyone who did watch my Topiary Rescue repot and reshape and wondering why I'm potting them up so soon again, it's because I've realised that this type of topiary is better appreciated viewed from a height. So that's the reason all four are going in tall pots. We won't be doing the two in the top garden today, we'll do them another day. Right, the last bit of firming in and we're nearly done as long as we don't get any more interruptions of spud stopping play. A little tennis pun there as she'll be going up to see Gypsy Boy and he'll be sat on the bench watching Wimbledon no doubt. And when he's watching tennis nothing else exists. So we should expect spud back down here any minute. Right that's the final pot done. Just finishing firming it in, cleaning around the pot. This box is still yet to be trimmed. So I think I'm going to give this a hard trim, take at least half an inch off each side and maybe about an inch off the top. Get it to a similar size, but I'll do that at a later date. I'll just let them settle in for now. Right, so I'm very happy and now all that's left to do is splash a bit of greenery. And as Wimbledon has taken my water boy away from me, it looks like I'm water boy today. Well, at least I'll know there'll be no overwatering. And once I've finished the watering, I'll show you them from different angles so you get a feel of how they look in the courtyard. And here comes Missy. She was obviously getting ignored at the top garden. So she's come to pester me. Right, so there you go. I'm very pleased with how they've turned out. They look very fresh, vibrant. They've still got to have a bit of work, a bit of trimming here and there to catch each other up. But all in all, I'm very pleased. I may underplant at some point, but for now, I'm happy, so I'll leave them as they are. Spud's been back up into the top garden to try and get Gypsy Boy's attention, but it hasn't worked. Come on then, Missy, let's go and get your dinner. Right, so I'm gonna go off and feed Spud. And that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And have a great week, everybody. Bye now.